Good late morning everyone and welcome back to my garage. I thought I'd hop in here and make a quick video. I, I still pay attention to prices and whatnot on Amazon and as of late battery prices have hit the basement. I don't know if they're going to go any lower but they have been so low that it is absolutely positively 100% worth it to build yourself a small off-grid system to save yourself money. Listen, let's say you're the guy who's got a refrigerator out in his garage, right? And you're kind of looking for a way to save yourself some money. You want to go solar and, you know, hey, maybe you want some emergency backup power every now and then uh, just in case the lights go out. It, it's happened uh, here quite a few times since I got both my systems. It happens everywhere. Uh, uh, the wind blows, a tree limb comes down, and you don't have any power for 24 hours. I have the solution. You're looking at them. They have gotten to the point where they are very affordable now. I seen last night or the night before, now it went off special, but I seen a 200 amp hour, 24 volt Chins battery for $799. That's 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery. That's the same as these two put together in one battery for 800 bucks. Now I paid 450. Well, actually, I paid 650 for this one and 600 for this one. Now I've had them for quite a few years, but that's what the prices were back then, and I thought I got a good deal. Now my Time USB batteries, I think I paid 600 for this one and 450 for both of these, and I thought that 450 was the best deal there was. During Amazon Prime days on the 17th of July, I looked you could get these for $360 a piece. $360 bucks for a Time USB 12 volt, 200 amp hour, 200 amp BMS battery. That's, that's mind boggling how cheap that is. The best part about it being that cheap is it also makes all of this, all of this work now for your budget. If you're paying 14, 15 cents a kilowatt hour, these will save you money. Let's go back to my example of the guy who's got himself a refrigerator in the garage. These systems work the best in the summertime when the sun's shining, obviously. And that's also the same time that your refrigerator in the garage is keeping the beer and the soda cold, uh, is doing all of its electrical draw. In the wintertime, it rarely turns on. Uh, in the wintertime, these systems don't make a lot of power. Um, but, you know... In the summertime, when you have an abundance of power, I think, and I know from experience, at least in my case, the Kenmore that I have upstairs, if you had a 24-volt, 200-amp-hour battery here, and you bought yourself a 24-volt Ames inverter like I bought, we're going to add on to the system here, and that's probably going to be a different video. Uh, some of you that are paying attention here know that I bought more panels, and we're going to turn this system into a 24-volt system, but anyway... The Ames I bought was 220 bucks. The 24 volt battery, which you could have got for 800 bucks, is now you're talking a thousand bucks. Get one of these up here for 200 more bucks, assorted wiring and whatnot, and your panels, and 1600 bucks or so, and you're in. 1600 bucks for a 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery uh, with a 24 volt system that could easily run your refrigerator. That's the deal. It will save you enough money to pay for itself, especially if you pay 14 or 15 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, if your company meters like ours does, not only do you save the money in the kilowatts, but you also save the money in the meter charge, uh, which is based upon the entirety of your bill. It's a percentage of your bill, and they use that to calculate the meter charge, or at least that's the way it seems here with my bill. I don't know how yours works, but take a good look at it. Study it. Figure out what happens when you start cutting kilowatts out of that bill. What part of your bill goes down? Not only does the electrical part go down, but also the the customer charge or any... There are other things that are related to your total amount of bill uh, that could go down. You should check and you should pay attention uh, closely. Now, the last thing uh, I can make about this it, as a good point for everything that you need as backup power, a 24 volt, 200, 200 watt, 
system, I'm sorry, 24 volt, 200 amp hour system will power my refrigerator upstairs for two days. And with 400, or I'm sorry, with 200 watts of panels at 24 volts, it will probably go even longer. The best part is, is if it's powering that refrigerator in your garage, in the sunny days when that refrigerator is sucking down energy, you're going to use all the off-grid stuff that you have. It's going to work out for you. It's going to save you money. It's going to be something that you actually notice in your power bill because I have noticed in mine with both of these systems up and running. I've yet to have one over $250, and my dad complains regularly complains about $400 power bills. So I know that on a bright, sunny day, the only thing that is running on electricity in this house with both of these systems active and running is the central air conditioners. These two systems here will take care of everything else in my house. If you want to save yourself money and you don't want to spend twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollars to fill your roof with solar panels and have all kinds of craziness that, by the way, doesn't work when the power goes out. <laughs> It's funny how people don't understand that, but it happens. As soon as the power goes out, you may have a roof full of solar panels that are grid-tied, but without a battery, your system is useless when there is no power. It's useless. I don't know. You decide what you want to do. I'm telling you now, with the prices as low as they are, you can actually save yourself money, and these systems will pay for themselves. Well, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll better tomorrow. See you.